Hey Great Dram, it's a bit of a random one uh, for you today. We're going to go through a super premium whiskey in the Glenfiddich Winter Storm. Beautiful, beautiful release that we've reviewed already on Great Drams. But we're going to do it side by side, because that was ice wine cask finished. Side by side, Wayne Gretzky ice cask, which is also ice wine cask finished. Um, I had no idea this product existed until I went through uh, duty free uh, on the way back from Canada for the launch of the Glenfiddich Winter Storm. So I figured, let's do a side by side. What can go wrong? So, Winter Storm, uh, just to recap, if you haven't seen the uh, video before, uh, finish an ice wine cast, it's a 21 year old Glenfiddich. Um, finish an ice wine cast, which uh, the ice wine itself is super sweet, really thick, really fruity, juicy, um, but it imbues a really nice soft sweetness to the whiskey, um, and which we'll get in a second, and is something really special, and it's very limited edition. Uh, retails about 199 pounds, I believe. Uh, whereas the Wayne Gretzky 99, um, uh, sorry, Wayne Gretzky Ice Cask uh, retails about 54 Canadian dollars, so about I don't know three quid. I don't really know the, the exchange rate, but something like that. Um, and yeah, this guy's in at 43%, and I have a feeling this guy is in at ah 41.5. So we'll try it, the Glenfiddich first. Thick, lychee, almost exotic character to it. Slight sweetness. A lovely kind of smoky undertone of the old school space size, as I've said many a time before about this product. So fruity, so juicy. That lovely citrus Glenfiddich distillery character is singing through. Mmm, nice. And the palette, all of those notes are just amplified, but really, really restrained. It's an elegant whiskey, very, very uh, kind of beautiful, stunning uh, kind of composition. Really nicely balanced, um, especially marrying that sweetness of the ice wine um, and the ice wine casks um, with the delicate nature of an aged Glenfiddich. It's only been in the ice wine cask for four months, so you know, not the most amount of time in there, but at the same time, it's enough. Let's get some flavour from it and see what happens. So, with Wayne Gretzky's effort, let's have a look. Now this is going to be a young, young spirit, I'm guessing. It's all about fresh oak, that pencil shading note is screaming through. But there is a sweetness there, there is some kind of fruit there. Ooh, that's vanilla notes, quite tannic. Mmm. It knows it's like a higher ABV than it is actually. It sounds a bit weird, but it does. Mm. The palette that kind of harshness is still there. Definitely a youthful spirit. Those pencil shaving notes are amplified. Fresh wood, fresh oak, but there is a sweetness. Um, maybe not as kind of integrated as this guy, but. There is a really nice note there of sweetness. It's come from the ice wine cask. I've got no idea how long this one's spent in those casks, but ooh, it's quite nice. What's that nail varnish on the nose? Definitely on the second sip, that sweetness, the wood character kind of dissipates slightly, but very, very spicy, sweet, fruity notes come through. Nice little release. Um, and comparing the two is obviously very hard because they do different things. One's super aged, one's definitely not. But having bought both of them, uh, I didn't buy this bottle, which was an empty one. I liberated from the launch event um, and had signed by, uh, by Brian Kinsman. Um, and having bought this one in duty free, I then bought one of these subsequently from the uh, distillery shop and I would definitely buy both again. So, recommending both. Nice! Until next time, cheers.